Hola, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can see all of the videos that are going to be uploaded. Um, we don't only do tarot readings, we also do spell work. For those of you guys that have been with me since day one, I love you guys and let's get into this reading. Okay, Cancer, let's see what Spirit has for you guys. We're going to start off with the tarot, then we're going to quickly go to the... Let me bring this a bit down. Then we're going to get into the Oracle cards and quickly get into Spirit's direct message for you, okay? All right, let's see what's going on for Cancers. Now, your first card here is the Hierophant. Could represent commitment for some of you guys, commitments on your mind. You also have the Queen of Swords, maybe dealing with an air energy or a Taurus. We have the Three of Pentacles, Compromise, working together or coming along. The full card, a new beginning. We have the Hermit card, Virgo energy here. The Ace of Wands. The Wheel of the Year. Wow, you guys have very powerful cards today, Cancer. How are you guys doing, by the way? I hope you guys are doing amazing. We have the Ten of Cups, the Eight of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. Okay, Cancers. Whoa. So for those of you guys that are currently in a committed relationship, uh, I see a new beginning here. So it could represent um, being more enticed to nurture the romance the passion in the relationship. Uh, this is like kind of where you go through a dry, <laughs> a dry spell and all of a sudden you guys can keep your hands off of each other. Very beautiful type of energy here. Uh, I do see commitment coming towards you for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while. I do see you guys being, um, being watched or people really vibrating to you, really feeling your energy. Um, Here's the thing, though, what they're telling me here with the Ace of Wands here and the Wheel of the Year, I feel that your luck is about to change when it comes to relationships, especially those of you guys that have been single or have been on this journey of singlehood for quite a while. Now, I do see that perhaps for some of you guys, there was a bit of like love, your love life being non-existent. I see that quickly changing. Um, and I see a lot of options for you guys with the Seven of Cups here and the potential to manifest something long-term with the Ten of Cups. Now, you do have the Eight of Cups here, and I see you guys walking away, uh, for some of you guys, walking away from um, perhaps dealing with the same people that you're usually, you know, been dealing with for quite a while. So what I mean by that is if you've been currently dealing with someone or entertaining uh, a specific individual, uh, I see you guys getting to the point of saying, okay, this is exactly what I want. If you can't provide that or you can't offer that to me, I have no problem walking away or pulling my energy because I know what I'm worth and I'm walking towards that. Uh, with the wheel of the year and the full card, there's definitely a new beginning here. And I see you guys not only with the new beginning, but with your mind um, being set very differently like you're looking at things from a very different perspective you're no longer settling is what they're saying so again for those of you guys that have been single for a while perhaps you didn't feel no intense connection with anyone for quite a while that's quickly going to be changing as i do see a new person being introduced here a new person coming into your life um you may have been experiencing a bit of like detachment or not being around a lot of people um, this can also represent like just not wanting to deal and this could represent like people texting you, communicating, wanting to get your attention and you're like, I'm going to get to that when I get to that. Um, and I feel that your energy was a bit drained and that could have been the reason why you were kind of in solitude or not really wanting to be that social. However, that's quickly going to be changing. Now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, I see you guys walking towards new endeavors, new accomplishments. For some of you guys, this could represent uh, wanting to buy uh, like your first house or buying a second home. I see you guys trying to do investments together as a, as a partnership. And I think that that's definitely going to give you guys um, 
a stronger bond, a stronger build, especially because I feel that it's lucrative uh, to go into partnership, especially those of you guys that are married, uh, owning things together. I feel that it's really going to be not only empowering, uh, but it's going to bring you guys or draw you guys closer for some of you guys uh, you're thinking of or wanting to move residency or changing residency. Um, if you are currently dealing with uh, a person that has been inconsistent with you i see you guys walking away from that situation but you're walking away because not because you're at a point where you're like i'm done but because i feel that there's better options coming your way so this could indicate that a new person has gotten your attention and you're like okay you know what i'm no longer going to be settling uh, with a temporary attention because i feel that someone in this connection um is kind of What's the word I'm looking for? Like their, their, their attention spam is very uh, confusing, maybe even irritating to you. Um, but like I said, I do see a lot of opportunities, a lot of options coming towards you, Cancer. Even options that perhaps, like I said, if you feel like your love life has been a bit uh, dry, that's quickly going to be changing. All right, so. Oh, we have two cards. We have two cards that uh, popped out. One of them is I need to focus on my healing. I feel this is your energy, uh, Cancer. And I think that's the reason why you haven't been as social or perhaps not responding to even friends. It's like I'll get to them when I get to them. And I feel that it, it's almost like a need for you to, to center yourself or to ground yourself or to be more in tune. And I feel you were disconnected for a bit. So it could be a healing process that you're going through. Now, the next card is I pretend that I don't care. So it could be the situation of sen what I'm sensing of someone having like a short attention spam or not giving you the attention you're wanting. Um, it's like they come in and out. And it's like you may be at a point where you're acting as if it doesn't affect you. Um, but clearly it does. And if this is you doing this to them, if they're making it seem like they don't care, it's not affecting them. Truth be told, it is affecting them and they are noticing. But like I said, I feel that you're not going to be completely done with this person that is inconsistent until this new person that's coming in uh, comes in. Because I feel that you're going to feel a very strong pull towards them, a very strong connection from the very beginning. And I feel that that's going to give you the little push that you need to completely shut off or pull away uh, from the person that you've been dealing with that is not giving you the consistency that you want. Your next card here is I've been struggling lately. So it could be that the person that you're dealing with has a lot of things going on right now in their life. Um, it could be that for some of you guys, it could even represent that uh, the person that you've been dealing with um, Perhaps it's not financially stable. It could be a situation with the full card where they go from one job to another uh, and it's kind of giving you an unsettling feeling. And here's the thing. If a person cannot hold a job, what makes you think they can hold a relationship? Do you see what I'm saying? Um, so pay attention to that, Cancer. Now let's see what Spirit's direct message is for you. Yeah, I see you guys being a bit like more empowered. Um, Perhaps you find yourself being very sharp with your tongue lately, and it's it, it's coming out of a frustration, but I feel that it's necessary with the Queen of Swords. It's like the Queen of Swords doesn't really, doesn't really sugarcoat anything. This is a person that does not play around, and I feel that you're coming into this energy, but the reason for it is because people have been really testing you, or they've been really putting you through the ringer, and you're like, I've had it, I'm not you know, I'm not going to deal with this nonsense anymore. Okay, let's see what Spirit's direct message is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the direct message for them? Okay. So your card here is number 28. This is a representation of a male energy. Uh, if you are masculine, it could represent that. Uh, you need to be more uh, embracing the masculine aspect to you. So if in this connection you felt like you've been giving up a lot or you've been putting a lot of effort to try to, you know, lure them back or get the, the attention from them, what they're telling you is 
yes, be proactive in that sense, but if you feel that they're not giving you or putting their effort, then it's time for you to put your foot down. It's time for you to um, really embrace um, the need for selfishness. Uh, sometimes that's necessary. It's important for us to think of ourselves as well. Uh, now, if you're a female, um, I see a man coming towards you, and this could be a person that is uh, a bit older than you. They can be about two to four years older than you. Uh, this is a new energy is what I'm sensing. So I feel that this is the person that's coming into your life, especially those of you guys that have been single for quite a while. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.